everyone, iOS 17.5 randomly came out today, which was very, very surprising. Typically, we don't see betas like this coming out so long after the last official version came out. It's been many, many weeks since our last beta, since our last anything. So I'm very glad we finally got our hands on it. If you ever want to download these betas, you can always make your way over to your general settings of your iPhone. Click on software update, and then you should be able to go and update your iPhone from this particular page. Now, this update brought some very interesting stuff to the table. First of all, this update was a pretty good size. As you can see, for the last beta, it was 6.14 gigabytes. So, you know, for this one, 17.5 beta, it is, I mean, it's that big, but it's not going to, you know, reinstall the whole entire version of software on your particular device. All it really just does is just, you know, pretty much just goes through and improves the, you know, last version. It just restarts everything, as you can probably see. So you can see here, it doesn't really give us anything crazy. iOS beta gives you an early preview of upcoming features and technologies. Please come back now. The release notes haven't officially came out as far as we can tell, but there are already some really big changes. The first thing being, as you probably would have guessed it, within the European Union. So now it's looking like iOS 17.5 is basically letting US or letting EU iPhone users download apps from websites. So I'm reading this from Mac Rumors. So with this particular update, as you can see right here, it basically just tells us, you know, within iOS 17.4, it brought us, you know, the ability of getting a little bit closer to full-on sideloading. But now, as you can see, there's a lot more improvements, and now we actually have the ability, inside of an iPhone that's inside the European Union, we actually have the capability of pretty much going through and, I guess, downloading our own applications. Now, this in and of itself is pretty crazy if it is true. Now, again, I don't have a European Union iPhone, but this in and of itself is a very, very crazy thing. Now, on top of that, there's going to be small little changes here and there, but that in and of itself is a pretty big change. If this comes out for all iPhones, that's going to be pretty wild. But other than that, it's going to be, you know, some bug fixes here and there. I saw one thing very interesting on the iOS beta subreddit that basically showcased someone's battery like icon right here and under battery health and charging, or was it some other option? It was like giving such a wacky like battery, I guess, like icons. Like, apparently I'm not getting that here. It could also be only maybe on the iPhone 15s. Another user, a really good Twitter user who I actually like a lot, iSpeed Test iOS. Hopefully I'm saying that right. They actually did go ahead and actually showcase exactly, they basically go and showcase like the beta improvements of every single iOS update and the scores. And with this particular one, as you can see, for iOS 17.5, they were basically saying that within this particular beta, compared to iOS 17.4.1, they were getting a single core score of plus four points. The multi-core score ended up staying the same, but the metal score ended up going two points up. So it looks like there could be a very, very small improvement from performance, at least for the first beta. Again, you should not be updating anyway to the beta on your main device, but it looks like there could be a little bit of an improvement from a performance side for this particular update, which is pretty interesting. I'll keep you guys updated as to show you kind of what happens throughout the last couple of days. I would probably say that if this official beta ends up coming around, possibly, I mean, if we're already on beta two, I would say probably within a month from now, we're going to get the official release, probably like the last couple of versions. So somewhere around this time, first week of May, maybe we may be getting the official version of the software, but I'll keep you all updated. Whenever we get another beta, I'll try my best to kind of update it. But as of right now, that's how iOS 17 is kind of holding up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.